I'm going to be showing you how to block ads in Microsoft Edge, the new Chromium version. So this works in the new Chromium version that was released fairly recently. Um, this works on Mac and on Windows. So let's get into it. So I'm obviously going to open up Microsoft Edge and you'll go to the top right corner of the browser and there should be three dots where you can access more settings and tools and then you'll want to go down to extensions and tap that and you can see there's these other ad blockers that I've um, reviewed in the past you can watch those videos I'll leave a link in the description but go down to get extensions for Microsoft Edge and we'll try out another great one so search for ad block scroll down and go to show more results and we're going to use ad guard ad blocker you get this one this is a great ad blocker it's well known on various platforms um, it has a lot of reviews 651 it's about five stars it looks they make a version for iPhone and Android and various browsers so this is a great one you can trust it so you click get you say add extension and then it should start downloading for you. you might see it in the bottom left corner of your browser or somewhere else it's only a few megabytes and it automatically opens up a page without you doing anything and it takes you to a page where you can configure ad guard and I'm gonna start checking and unchecking things a filter for all known counters and elliptical systems I'll check that so we can't have analytics spying on us let's re remove social media like buttons and stuff just a lot of bloating um, let's do protection against malicious and phishing websites don't want to participate in development of filters I'm gonna uncheck allow search ads and self-promotion of websites I don't want any ads so there we have it you can see reviews and other stuff about ad guard okay so it's set up you can see there's an icon in the bar. Let's click on it to see what it can do. You can turn it on and off. You can see total blocked um, and blocked on this page. There's various actions like block ads on this website, open filtering log, report an issue, check website security. Um, you can look at statistics and you can go to settings like we are here. But that's all you can do in that tab. Let's actually test it out and prove that this does block ads. So I'm going to go to YouTube.com because that's the most wanted place to block ads. Understandably, there's a lot of ads these days. Um, I'm going to search for 5G by Marcus Brownlee because I know this video has ads. I've seen it before. And we'll see if there's any ads. And there are none. There are none at the start of the video. There are none up here in the top right where there quite often is. So that's very awesome. You can prove that it does work by turning it off. The ad blocker will go to the YouTube homepage and you can see there's an ad right here. There wasn't before. Let's search for 5G by Marcus Brownlee. Click on it again. There's no ad at the beginning, but there's an ad over here. So it proves there are ads on this website. And I have seen an ad before at the beginning of this video too. So it's just a matter of it showing up or not. So we know it works on YouTube. Let's check out if it works on a news site. So we'll search for tech on Google. Let's find um, some tech news. Go to CNBC. See if there's any ads. So no ads. There's related stuff, but no ads. There's this annoying video pop-up, but there are no ads, which is amazing. So you can see it really does work. There are no ads, and you know most news websites have to have ads to make money because if they're not um, behind a paywall, they use ads. So this really proves that this ad blocker does work. Um, I hope you guys like this video. If you did, please leave a like, comment down below what other things I should review and do, and please subscribe if you thought this was helpful, and enjoy having ad-free internet from now on. Goodbye.